time ago How could I forget the way I felt When I first laid eyes on you I remember saying to my friends There is my future wife And then I took the step to meet Someone who would change my life It had to be my destiny Cause I was made to love you My hands to touch you My arms to hold you My legs to stand My time to spend With you forever I was made Made to love you My lips to kiss you My eyes to see you My legs to stand My time to spend Spend with you forever And ever
married cops. On August 28, 2015, George and Shawanda reunited. At that time, Shawanda was going through a very difficult time in her life. She was at the point of giving up, actually crying on a daily basis. But God, George rescued her, picked her up when she was down, and laid her under his net of safety. On August 28th, she was able to say she cried her last tear. Yes, today I realize. 
two who come today to be joined again as husband and wife. Let us pray. Eternal and everlasting, all wise and almighty, Lord, we ask now that you would come into the midst of this service. For Heavenly Father, we need your spirit, we need your presence, and we need your power. We pray to God that you would shine upon this union and shine upon this day, that this day will live in the hearts of these two forever. And we pray that your glorious and your wonderful majesty shall always be in their lives as they shall go forth from this day. God, we love you and we do thank you for it. It's in Jesus' name we pray that the Redeemer of God say amen. Amen. Who give us this woman to be married to this man? George, if it's your intention to take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife, I ask that you do now take her by the hand. Once upon a time, in a city called Cana of Galilee, a wedding took place, one with such, such great proportion that Jesus himself was invited. And he adorned this wedding and remained and called it beautiful to see these two people join together. The many years later, the love that was shared at that wedding continues to go forth today. Today we have Shawana and George who stand before you expressing that same kind of love for one another. And we know that the spirit of the Lord is here with them to adorn, to adorn and to bless this union. Before we begin this tale that is to be told, I have to ask a question. And I charge both of you that you shall listen very closely. For if either of you know why, if there's any reason that you should not be remain husband and wife, <laughs> I ask that you do declare it before God and before these people.